So I like to, I, I read something recently um, that resonated with me about how I've made my decisions along the way. And I definitely have not had a linear path. I have had more of a kind of um, path where I've meandered with a sense of purpose. Mm -hmm. And I like that. Yeah. And Sounds I, like this, Yates. That, was not, that was not me. I, I read something, and I think I maybe added my own little flourish to it. But meandering with a sense of purpose. And really what that means is it's about being true to your convictions and your passions, but also leaving yourself open to opportunities when they come along. And I'll just give you two little stories. One is that when I, was, when I went to college, um, I went in 1988, and most people were uh, probably trying to um, you know, figure out how they were going to decorate their rooms, who was going to be on their floor, what classes they were going to take. My big preoccupation at that point was figuring out how I could get my absentee ballot so that I could vote <laughs> in Ohio um, for Michael Dukakis at the time. Um, I had one poster on my wall. That was Michael Dukakis. And, um, and, um, and then in 1992, when I was about to graduate, a lot of my friends were going through corporate recruiting. And corporate recruiting is a really great thing because you go in the fall, you um, can get your job offer in November, December, and then you can sit back and enjoy your was senior year. Was this when year. you were at Harvard? No, this is in undergrad when I was at Miami of Ohio. Okay. And, um, and um, so I, too, started going through corporate recruiting. But the whole time I was going through corporate recruiting, I had this sort of gnawing feeling in my stomach, and I didn't quite know what it was. I thought it was normal anxiety when you're going and you're interviewing. And what I realized when I was sitting in the middle of a second round interview with a company was that what that gnawing was, was that I wasn't listening to my passion or my conviction. And what had been tickling in the back of my head was that I was really fascinated by how the 92 presidential campaign was an unfolding. And what I really wanted to do was to go and work on the 92 presidential campaign. And so I sat in that second round interview and I explained to the uh, interviewer that I was going to need to withdraw from the process and why. And I walked out, I went home, and I was terrified. Called my parents who said, you did what? <laughs> Not a textbook career, uh, textbook start to a career. Um, but what I realized at that point was that my focus was very clear and that I needed to do the thing that I was most passionate about, which was to work on a campaign and hopefully get to Washington and somehow get involved with government. So I think leaving yourself open and following your convictions is part of the way that you make decisions about. And listening to your stomach. Listening there is a you. lot of that. When something doesn't sit right, 